एवरी वन सो हम स्टार्ट करते हैं हमारी नेक्स्ट चैलेंजिंग प्रॉब्लम ये चैलेंजिंग प्रॉब्लम भी क्लैपनर से है एंड सिमिलर प्रॉब्लम इज देयर इन डेविड मॉरिन एज वन ये प्रॉब्लम एक बहुत ही क्लासिकल प्रॉब्लम है जहाँ पर हम लोग इस प्रॉब्लम को कई डिफरेंट तरीक़ों से डील कर सकते हैं जिनमें से एक मेथड है कि वी विल कैलकुलेट दी हॉरिजेंटल वेलोसिटी विच मीन्स दैट वेलोसिटी अलॉन्ग एक्स डायरेक्शन ऑफ द रॉड एंड वील मैक्सिमाइज दैट वेलोसिटी बिकॉज एज यू कैन सी दैट हियर यू आर सपोज टू फाइंड आउट द एंगल मेड बाय रॉड विद हॉरिजोंटल वैन द रॉड लॉस इज द कॉन्टैक्ट वैन द रॉड लॉस इज द कॉन्टैक्ट द नॉर्मल रिएक्शन अलॉन्ग हॉरिजोंटल डायरेक्शन विल बी जीरो बिकॉज नॉर्मल रिएक्शन along horizontal direction is the only force which is providing acceleration along x direction so if normal reaction along horizontal direction is zero it means that velocity of center of mass vx along x direction must be maximum so you have to find out the moment when the velocity along x direction is maximum and when the velocity along x direction is maximum it is but obvious that normal reaction is zero and if the normal reaction is zero then we can conclude that this is the moment when rod loses the contact with wall <coughs> for the first time okay so let me start the problem <coughs> i am drawing the free body diagram i have already prepared some outlines so this is your nx which is zero at the moment when rod losses contact with the vertical wall and this is ny and the gravitational force is mg okay when rod was in contact with wall as well as ground there were two normals and both the normals are intersecting at a point and that point is instantaneous center of rotation i can easily calculate torque about this point and i can find out alpha as well as i can calculate omega because instantaneous axis of rotation or point of rotation is a point about which entire body is performing pure rotatory motion if this angle is theta then i can apply energy conservation but before that i can apply energy conservation as well as equation of torque but before that let me calculate moment of inertia about instantaneous axis of rotation okay so as you can see that this total length is 12 okay i am assuming 2l is equal to l so this total length is a small l okay and the half length will be l by 2 this is a sort of diagonal for this parallelogram and uh, the length of the second diagonal if you draw another diagonal which is passing through instead in a successive rotation as well as center of mass the length is again l so you can say that this length is equal to l by 2 this particular length is l by 2 so i can write moment of inertia about i or which is equal to ml square divided by 12 which is i about center of mass plus this distance is l by 2 so moment of inertia about this axis will be ml square by 12 plus ml square divided by 4 which comes out to be ml square divided by 3 okay so now we have to apply moment uh, uh, energy conservation and initially the rod was vertical and the center of mass was at a height l by 2 now center of mass is at a height l by 2 sin theta so loss of potential energy is equal to gain of kinetic energy which is 1 by 2 into ml square divided by 3 into omega square okay so from here i can calculate omega which is equal to under root square root 
थ्री जी इंटू वन माइनस साइन थीटा दिस इज माई एंगल स्पीड दिस इज एंगल स्पीड ऑफ द रॉड अबाउट आई ओ आर एवरी पॉइंट ऑफ द रॉड इज रोटेटिंग ऑन ए सर्कुलर पाथ अबाउट आई ओ आर ओके इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट एक्स वेलॉसिटी ओरिजेंटल वेलॉसिटी ऑफ द सेंट्रल मास यू हैव मेनी वेज ऑफ कैलकुलेशन द फर्स्ट इज यू नो द वेलॉसिटी ऑफ लोएस्ट पॉइंट विल बी ओमेगा इंटू एल साइन थीटा हाउ डू आई नो दिस पर्टिकुलर गैप दिस वर्टिकल गैप इज एल साइन थीटा एंड योर एंटायर बॉडी इज रोटेटिंग अबाउट आई ओ आर सो दिस वेलॉसिटी शुड बी ओमेगा एल साइन थीटा If this velocity is omega l sin theta, then the velocity of center of mass v x is half of this velocity. So I can write v x is equal to omega l divided by two sin theta, where you already have the value of omega. So finally, you are left with a function of v x, and you have to differentiate it. Let me write here v x is equal to L by two multiply by sine theta multiply by under root one minus sine theta multiply by three g. Okay, so this is the velocity along x direction at any moment, and you are looking for the moment when the rod loses contact for the first time, and when the rod loses contact for the first time, velocity along x direction is maximum. so i can just differentiate the vx with respect to theta and equate with zero you can calculate this value when you will differentiate with respect to theta you can easily differentiate this function and you will get sin theta is equal to 2 by 3 if sin theta is 2 by 3 it means that the moment when the rod loses contact with vertical the height of the end upper end will be 2l by 3 which we are supposed to prove in this particular question so this is one way of doing this question now let me show you another way of doing the same question okay so i am making the free body diagram again <coughs> this is vertical wall and this is horizontal wall and this is the rod Okay. This time, I am going to calculate acceleration of this point about central mass. Central mass has only y acceleration along y direction because at the moment it is losing contact with the vertical. There is no horizontal acceleration, so there is one acceleration along y direction. Okay, it is rotating. With an angular speed omega and angular acceleration alpha. Okay, so this point will be having two accelerations with respect to center of mass. One will be omega square l by two, and the other will be alpha l by two, and the alpha l by two is perpendicular to the rod. Since you know that this angle is theta, and this angle is ninety minus theta, and the angle Made by this acceleration, omega square l by two, with horizontal is again theta. So I can say that horizontal component of omega square l by two is omega square l by two cos theta. Okay, so omega square l by two has a component omega square l by two cos theta along horizontal, and alpha l by two is having another component alpha l by two sine theta along horizontal. and the difference of two must be equal to zero why the reason is very simple when the rod was in the contact with the wall there was no horizontal acceleration of this contact point along x direction okay so at that time it just losses the contact just before it losses the contact acceleration along x direction for this point was zero so at the moment it losses the contact with the vertical wall at that moment also the acceleration along horizontal direction for this particular point is zero so and as you know that 
at that moment there is no horizontal acceleration in center of mass the acceleration of center of mass is zero at that moment so the net acceleration of this point will be omega square l by 2 cos theta minus alpha l by 2 sin theta and one more acceleration in downward direction but i don't require that because i have to equate horizontal acceleration with zero two and two gets cancelled in the previous part you have already calculated omega square which is 3g into 1 minus sin theta now you have to calculate alpha okay so there are various way of calculating alpha one is you form three equation one newton's law along vertical direction okay then equation of torque about center of mass and then the constraint of this point this point is not having any acceleration in y direction so you can apply constraint and one simple way is you calculate acceleration about iur you calculate torque about iur and then calculate acceleration angular acceleration easily because the normal reaction vertical normal reaction is passing through that point horizontal normal reaction was also passing through that point when it was non zero but since at this moment it is zero we are not concerned about that and the mg mg is providing a torque which is mg into l by 2 cos theta and this should be equal to ml square divided by 3 into alpha we have already calculated acceleration sorry we have already calculated moment of inertia in the previous uh, slide so you can calculate alpha which is equal to 3g divided by 2l cos theta right so now you have alpha which you can replace here okay you have omega square which you can replace here and after two three steps you will be able to prove that sin theta is equal to 2 by 3 so from here you can conclude that sin theta is 2 by 3 when they lost rod just losses contact with the vertical wall there is one more way of doing this problem which i'll tell you later if uh, uh, in case we discuss the same problem again in future but stay tuned with me and wait for the next problem in the end of this video next challenging problem will be hopefully from mechanics only and uh, i'll be providing the solution of that problem in the next video good day thank you